do you need to affirm every day in order to manifest your desires? I just got a comment and, and I see a lot of these, uh, not just on my channel, on, on, on other people's channels, asking like, you know, do you have to run through a technique every day and like keep, keep reaffirming and whatnot? Absolutely not. That doesn't mean that it's not helpful, but it also can be unhelpful. <laughs> it, it, it can also sabotage. Let me explain. Truly, you only have to affirm once. In fact, I'm firmly of the belief that we can get to a point where you don't even have to affirm. You don't even have to consciously state what you want. You will get into a mindset uh, shall we say a vibration where you'll just feel lucky <laughs> any fleeting thought any any fleeting desire will just appear in your life i've experienced i've experienced moments like this it's it's like being in flow so let's get this straight be very clear you do not need to repeat affirmations or scripting or exercises or any of that sort of thing in order to get what you want. And the situation in which that can be unhelpful, in which that can sabotage you, is when you're focusing and stressing so much on the fact that you don't have what you want. That's when it doesn't work. So you're like, I don't know, you, you, you want to manifest this specific person and every day you're focused on not even, you might not even necessarily consciously be focused on the fact that like, oh, I don't have them. They're not in my life. You know, you could just be focusing on, I'm going to get this person. But the fact that you keep trying and wanting is proving that you don't have it. Which means, like we've discussed before, you're putting attention on the distance between you and your desire. And what does that do? That increases the distance between you and your desire. Because whatever you put your attention on is what you get. Okay? But let's talk about a situation where repetition is helpful. So I've alluded to this before, but I want to be very, very clear on this message moving forward because it is of utmost importance. Techniques, affirmation, scripting, visualization, whatever, doesn't matter what it is, it all serves the same purpose. And that is to get you out of your own way. We do not consciously manifest. The whole idea of, of you manifesting something actively like it's a magical spell is, oh, it's a lie. And that's a very heavy word to use, I know. Um, it's just not how it works. We're doing it automatically. We can't stop doing it. It's like breathing. We are incapable of not manifesting, if that makes sense to you, right? So the trick is to get us out of our own way, right? To, to intercept the thing that's causing the block and remove it so that our natural reflex of manifestation, of creation, of breath can work properly okay so let's get down to repetition here and affirmations and, and all that stuff when is it useful to repeat uh, processes techniques whatever when you don't yet believe that you can have what you want okay so let me see if I can give you an example let's pretend let's pretend that I believe I am not worthy of love or, or the affection of others. Like, let's say I want to be in a relationship, but I don't believe that I am worthy of it. Okay. That is a pretty severe block preventing me from getting what I want. Right. So the repetition isn't to attract what I want to me. The repetition is to dissolve the block between me and my desire. So something I might do in that case is, I don't know, let's make something up. Let's say, um, let's say that I don't like my body enough that I believe 
that it is the reason I'm single. All right. So I would, I would devise a visualization or an affirmation or whatever, whatever works for you that allows me to change the view I have of my body. Right. So if I believe I'm really out of fit and overweight and I'm, and I'm unhappy with how I feel and look, that's the block, right? So I need to then, you know, whether, whether it's an affirmation or a visualization, visualization, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going, I'm fit, I'm healthy, I'm strong, I'm lean, I'm muscular. That's the repetition. That's what I'm working on, right? And, and it's not necessarily to, oh man, this is why this stuff is so hard to teach because like it's paradox upon, upon paradox and like it all feeds into itself. It's beautiful. Oh, I love this shit. It's like talking about time travel, you know? <laughs> okay. So it's not that you're necessarily manifesting yourself to look a different way, right? And I've had comments like this before. I've like some, someone a little while ago asked if they could manifest themselves being taller uh, or handsome, right? My reply to that was, would you be okay if the reality that you manifested wasn't that you actually changed at all, but rather people saw you in a different light? All right. So let me give you an example. Let's, let's say I believe that I'm ugly, right? Will I actually be manifesting a, a physical visual change in myself or will I be manifesting the fact that I now accept myself, I believe that I'm handsome and others will see me in that same way. Is this, is this making sense? I feel like I'm not quite getting the point across. The, the point is ultimately you have to, you have to disregard the meaning that you give the reality around you and apply a new meaning to it, okay? So who says that I'm ugly? According to what standard? My own, because the universe, my reality is me pushed out. So the only person saying that I'm ugly is me. So if I suddenly see myself as handsome, then the world will see me as handsome. Will I visually change? Who knows? <laughs> Does it matter? I don't believe it does at all. Ask yourself this question. If you didn't change at all, but everyone just started perceiving you in the way that you wanted to be perceived, would it matter? Do you need to be taller? Do you need to be better looking? The point is nothing has any more or less value than anything else. Everything is a single point. <laughs> so when we get, let's, let's, let's get back on track here, right? So repetition of affirmations and like, you know, reaffirming every day and, and putting in a routine. Yes, but only to get you out of your own way to train yourself to see yourself in a new way. Because really that's, that's like even better than manifestation is identity creation. And I'm going to do a whole video on this later because it's an important topic to me. It's something that I've had a lot of success with. I believe it's very, a very powerful approach. Uh, and I'd like to talk about it and, but I want to give it, you know, I want to do it justice. So we'll get to that later, but identity creation, man, like if you can see yourself at, in a different way, just like in the matrix, the matrix is full of beautiful gems. The fact that Neo looked different by the end of the movie at the beginning, like when, when they went back into the matrix, he was a dag, you know, he was a friggin' nerd. And then by the end he was a badass. All that changed was his own belief in himself, his own self-image. And how did he get there? By choosing. Right? Because that's what the Oracle gave him. That's the power the Oracle gave him. She gave him the choice. You have to choose between your life or Morpheus's life, right? And he chose. And in doing so, he changed his view of himself. He became a different person. There is no spoon. There is no spoon, guys. You know what that means? It means you don't change reality, you change yourself. Let me repeat the quote to you. Do not try to bend the spoon, that is impossible. 
only try to realize the truth. There is no spoon. Then you will see it is not the spoon that bends, it is only yourself. So repetition, all these processes, techniques, they do not attract anything to you. They just change how you see yourself such that what you want will come to you naturally anyway, because it is our natural reflex, rather, like breathing. As always, take what resonates and discard the rest.